What's good? We back with the boxing clinic. And more y'all know what it is. We back talking boxing. Um, unless something breaks out of uh, you know out of nowhere in the boxing or the sports world, this will probably be the last video for the night. Um, no, did good work today. Always gonna continue to keep the ball moving in the sports world and in boxing, of course. Um, went live on uh, Facebook and did a real nice little boxing chat. Um, talked about Canelo Triple G and some of the fights this weekend and Crawford, Spence, Wilder, Ortiz. We, we talked about a lot today. And um, I'm going to leave that link in the description um, so y'all can listen to that. But I'm um, talking about what is the next um, mega fight in the sport of boxing. Um, now that the, the boxing model is getting away from the pay-per-view, I, I don't mean as far as pay-per-view. Uh, I mean just as far as everybody's viewership. And what's the most ante- no the, the most anticipated big fight that could be made um, in boxing? And um, you know, a couple honorable mentions would be Crawford or Thurman. Um, you know, the winner of Crawford Thurman Spence, I would guess. Um, you know, uh, I'm not gonna count Triple G versus Canelo too. We already know what that is. Uh, we had the first one. Um, um, that's pretty much about it. You know, um, that I can see right now that's bubbling. Uh, I think Charlo and Jenny Jacobs got to get some, 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 get their notoriety and their clout up in the sport of boxing. And I boiled it down to two fights. And of course, uh, this is one of the two fights. Um, you know, uh, apparently Eddie Hearn wants to make this fight pay per view. But um, they said Deontay Water needs to get some more notoriety. Well, I say that to them. Anthony Joshua has zero clout over in America. I'm not saying that um, Deontay Wilder's popularity meter. It's super high in America, but a lot of people are starting to notice, um, t- take notice about who he is um, and what he's been doing. And um, would Luis Ortiz fight put him over the hump? Absolutely not. It's a good, solid fight. It's on Showtime. It's not on regular NBC, ABC, or NBC, Fox, or uh, CBS. It's on Showtime for whatever reason that is, so that kind of hurts that right there. But if he knocks him out in a spectacular fashion... That can help his popularity. And Joshua was the man over there in the UK. But when you talk about American boxing, he's nowhere at the top. Um, some guys know who he is over here. Some guys don't. Um, and um, for this to be a major fight, most people say, why Why does Joshua have to come to America? Same reason why Anthony Joshua wants to fight in Africa one day. Um, it's about being the heavyweight world champion of the world. And, you know, the side of the world that, that matters the most and Lennox Lewis would tell you, and he told Anthony Joshua, is America. And that's where you want to make your mark at. And that's where Vladimir, K- Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko failed to become household names at. And um, can Anthony Joshua uh, break that other side of the world uh, streak on that and become a popular household name in America? Of course he can. He got one of the best promoters in the game in Eddie Hearn. Um, and Eddie Hearn got the pipeline uh, fucking with Showtime and fucking with, uh, excuse my French, and Al Heyman. So they got the pipeline. Um, how long will this fight articulate to be one of the biggest fights in boxing? Um, I don't know because Deontay Wilder has a large order in Luis Ortiz. And it's a give and take a fight. And if he can give an ass whooping to Luis Ortiz, I think, I think, I, I can't give you a time frame on that. And whenever it happens, it's a good fight. But if they build that correctly and, and kind of put these guys on the same card in America about one or two times next year, um, I, th- I think I think it, it can start building. Um, they want to make it a pay-per-view fight. I just don't see um, people. They, they have to have a great marketing scheme for this fight. They have to showcase these guys together or in America uh, to get that. If it was a straight UK fight, this fight break all type of UK pay-per-view numbers. But the simple fact that they need Joshua to become a household name in America and Deontay Wilder, um, it, it's, it's just funny. I don't understand, but I think it could be one. Of, I think it's the second, you know, potential to be a mega fight, but it has some hurdles to get over. Um, but I, I want to see it, man. I truly do want to see it, man. Um, I think this is the second biggest fight in the sport of boxing that could be made. And due to the time and the marketing issues, um, I think this is the number one uh, fight that people want to see when you're talking about across the world. 
I think number one is Earl Spence and Keith Thurman due to the reality that it can happen as soon as possible. As soon as Keith Thurman wants it to happen, as soon as Al Heyman puts a gun to his head and make him walk the plank, um, it can happen. We understand that this guy is going to take a tune-up, but he only fought once in the last two years. He only fought two times in the last two years, once for the last two years, a uh, year apiece. And um, Earl's hungry to get that notoriety. Keith is an engaging personality. Most people are starting to take notice about who Earl Spence is. And I think a nice um, fight with a Sean Porter or Danny Garcia can take him over the top and potential Terrence Crawford can take him over the top. But I think they just going to do this fight. Um, I think this is going to be a bigger fight than the Sean Porter-Keith Thurman fight. I think it's going to be live at CBS. Neither one of these guys have an image issue like Adrian Broner does. And he won't never be on regular NBC Live or Spike anymore. He's paid premium uh, channel TV because of his mouth. If you didn't hear that at one of his press conferences. Um, so, But these two guys can definitely light it up. This is a fight that everybody wants to pack in to see. If they wanted to make a pay-per-view, um, they can do it. And some people will pay. Will it, will it be in the same uh, environment pay-per-view number-wise as McGregor Mayweather or any of Mayweather's pay-per-view or Canelo Triple G 1 or 2 when 2 comes? Absolutely not. Unless they're able to spin this and market this in a, in a fantastic way. And doing that is probably featuring both guys on the card in some un well, out-of-character uh, trash talk by Earl Spence. Um, a, major, uh, a major push in cash and talking about promotion and marketing. Um, and putting these guys against guys that um, the casual public can get behind. I would say uh, the comeback fight for Keith Thurman, middle of the year, put both of these guys on the same card. Um, if, if it's Constantine Poormath, who's the uh, mandatory, put him against Earl Spence and put Keith Thurman in there with Sean Porter or Danny Garcia or Lamont Peterson um, and start building that fight right then and there. And in December, November, which is, you know, November, which is a good pay-per-view uh, month, um, do it. Do it. Put a nice undercard under it and do it. But I, I, I really believe this fight is going to be in CBS. I think it's going to break regular TV boxing records if it's promoted and marketing right. Um, PBC has an issue with marketing sometimes, but they, they did a good job with the shine and Keith. I heard that on uh, radio and all types of stuff, but I think they need to make a major push for this one. I'm talking about an eight, eight city site tour, uh, city tour. Um, I think they need to put money in this. And if it lives up to the hype, both of these guys become stars because the viewership is going to be there. It's on free TV. And I think this fight can usher in an era where we can leave behind the pay-per-view model. Right along with the other fight with Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. They get that to us for free. They can get away with that. But they must market both of these fights uh, the right way. Um, but I don't see any major pay-per-view fights that's on the horizon anymore. Um... But stars are made every day. Well, every you know other month in the sport of boxing. Um, but I think these are the two marquee fights other than the Canelo Triple G rematch. Um, I think this is it. You know, these are the two next biggest fights that we can have in the sport of boxing. And I'm definitely proud that these fights hopefully can be made and both all these guys can continue to win and be healthy and be willing to make these fights happen. We have size and Deontay Wilder Earl Smith that wants to make it happen. We got an injury with Anthony with uh, Keith Thurman, and then Anthony Joshua has a mandatory that he has to get past, and Deontay Wilder has a man has a, a Luis Ortiz, which is a tough order to get past. But um, yeah, man, I think these are the two next biggest fights, and I'm hopefully they free. Let's get let's let's do away with the pay per view model. Al Hamer's trying to kill that. Um, Bob Arum's trying to kill that, and um, we'll see. But um, you know, like I said, uh, I'm gonna leave the link to the live video. That I did hour long talking boxing. Hopefully, if you're on a midnight shift, it can get you through. It was a very good boxing talk. We talked about a, a, a few different things. Ortiz, Wilder, we mainly talked about. We started off talking about Canelo, Triple G. Talked about Crawford matching up with Keith and, and, and Earl. We talked about the Huey Fury and Joseph Parker, Luke Campbell, Jorge Linares, and Jesse Hart and Gilberto Ramirez fight this weekend. And um, we did some real live boxing talk. Like I said, this is probably going to be the last video tonight. And let some breaking sports and boxing news come through. Um, I enjoy having everybody subscribe and watch the videos, man, and share. And let's get this thing moving. We gone.